So today I came out to uh, go for a walk. Let's look for any tracks on some old road systems I worked on back in 2004, 2005, 2006. This is the road I intended on going in as I found lots of deer sheds in there before, but as you can see, the forest takes it all back in time. A little bit of grass here and you go in a little bit, you can't even see the opening where was the road. So instead I'm gonna cut back and go up a power line trail. See if I can find somewhere else to check out. So the spot of Mass Shore grew up. When we worked here, we laid out a partial cut. So we went in and just took out the pine trees that were attacked by beetle, left all the fur. So it was super open, you could see forever. Now the brush is overtaken, like eight, 10 feet high. It's just thick, thick alder, you can't see anything. So I'm going up an old quad trail and uh, it's quite growing over. It's good for my physio though. Just did a pretty good uphill click at about 20%. Crazy hot out. We've been in a huge heat streak lately and today we're pushing 30 degrees. So I don't have any wildlife moving around at all. Everything will be moving at night. I'm kind of just going to the top of the hill now. See what the view looks like and see where I head from there. Well, there you go. Sometimes the view is worth the sweat. So I'm currently on the Trans Mountain Pipeline, which is a pipeline that goes from Northern Alberta through the Rockies, through BC, and into Vancouver Harbor. And the Canadian federal government recently bought this and are in the process of doubling the size. So there's lots of work going on. So I kind of noticed today, like I said, I haven't been to this area in like almost 15 years. So there's been a lot of work here this summer, a lot of ribbon and flagging out, and lots of ATVs coming up and down this trail. So as much as the bush is growing in and I can't see anything, there have been a lot of people around here. It means there's probably not much in the way of wildlife. It's still a really fun hike to get out. See an old spot I used to work. I'm gonna hit another couple roads I worked on back in the day and see how they're doing. I haven't seen much for animal sign at all. I expected to see a lot of bear crap all over the road, but didn't see one. So I noticed coming in, I'm going up a power or a pipeline and straight across the hill. There's also a power line going up and over. So I'm going to try to cut the woods through the middle of the two straight side hill and then come down the power line just to see some different ground. It's a good workout on my leg too to get a little bit of woods walking. It's nice to get off the trail and look around too. Just listen. So for noises here. I'm right on the point where three valleys come together. Kind of the point stuck right out in the middle of the junction. And there's trains going by down the valley and then it echoes off every single face and comes at me. So it sounds like there's about six trains going past you, surrounded on every side, even though I'm not anywhere near one. Just one of those weird tricks of sound. So I'm out in that power line now. It's a pretty good spot to go down. Work on the nerves. Being in physio for so long, I kind of lost some of my nerves in the woods, so it's good to go out in these spots. Low visibility, lots of berries, good chance of seeing a bear. I got to get back down to there. My truck is down off to the side, a little trail there on the right. I'm just heading down that power line now. I was hoping there'd be a road. I cut across it, there was nothing. So it's just down through the brush. It's about like waist to shoulder high, lots of berries. Wet ground, but so brushy, I can't really see if there's any tracks.
One good thing about today's hike, that right there I'm looking across at is Micah Mountain, where I did one of my Bigfoot episodes and where William Rowe had a very famous, well-documented Bigfoot sighting back in the 1950s. So walking through here, I have come across a good game trail here. You can see right there, all green plants pushed over forward. So something else is going downhill in front of me. Been following it for a bit, haven't found a track yet. So it's right when I hit this flat bench here, going side to side, the area is just full with trails. So whatever for animals are using it to cross the opening side hill here on the flat. So right here I just found the old road that I thought would be going up in this area where the power lines are. So that's actually a road and this is what happens when you don't drive on a road or use it for about 12-14 years. So I just came down that road. So this area here, the reason it's interesting for me, it's an area we deactivated after we logged it. So what that means is the logging company takes out all the culverts on the road, restores everything to natural on the streams, digs up a big massive gut at the front, puts some blockades, drops some trees, some rocks, whatever, makes it so people can't drive on it. And then just basically says, I'm turning the area back, turn it back to nature and let nature take it over. What happens is all the old roads could become total game trails, moose, deer, bear, Sasquatch, cougars. And the area gets to grow back without having a lot of human impact because most times post logging, the only humans that come in are people on motorized vehicles, whether it is recreational or going out hunting. So it's nice to see some areas get back to nature. Some hot out today though. So here's the difference here, I followed that down. This is the same road down below the deactivation line. So as you can see, there's still good tire tracks. It's still opened up. People can still drive it. And then back there, it was complete brush and all it was was game trails. So I'm back the truck now. That's the hillside that is basically went out and adventured across. I cut in that dirt road way in and off to the left cross through the trees above that pink you can, or peak you can see and then came down that. Pretty hot day to be out hiking. It was good for my physio though. Short hike but worked the leg really good. Lots of uphill, downhill, lots of brush walking. So that was good. As far as the area with Sasquatch goes, an interesting area. I hadn't been here in years when we worked here before. We had lots of wildlife encounters. But with the pipeline work getting done, there's gonna be a lot of equipment moving in here. So I might just X this area off the list of spots I'm researching. And I got a couple of good, good other ideas on spots I used to work. I'm gonna go check out some, kind of like today, some old roads I worked, see how those areas are going. And uh, got a good little drive out of here. I drove in a ways, so should be a good drive out. Maybe I'll see something. <laughs> 